My name is Joe, I'm in Idols, and our album is Joy as an Act of Resistance. All our music is inspired by the same thing. It's just about what, what we're going through at that point in time. There was a real sense after our first album, Brutalism, where there was a sense of loss in my own life and, and, and uh, other guys in the, in the band. We lost people that we, we loved dearly and um, that sense of loss uh, can only be in any way attacked through grieving processes and as an artist that's right, the first thing you go to after your family and friends so we wanted to regroup and make something progressive uh, artistically but more importantly for ourselves to improve and to become better people and to grieve better and to come out of it in one piece um, so the album was just built on rebuilding for us as a band, as an artist, I think an album is far more important than single songs because it takes you on a journey and I think our, our live show and our album is intertwined. We write songs as if we were live and it's about that visceral energy and, and about communicating a journey and I, I don't think you can do that uh, with singular songs and we've always been about creating a relationship, forging a narrative that goes over a period. We want transparency and we want trust and we want compassion with our audience and I don't think you can get that uh, without journeys with your audience. Joy as an Act of Resistance was kind of um, the, the brief of the album before it was the title. The whole point of, our, of Joy was that um, I was in counselling and I had to get over my addiction and my grief and I had to save myself and my relationships around me. Uh, so it was important that I, I used Joy as an act of resistance in my own life way before I wrote about it uh, fluently. So it was, this whole, whole album was built, built around the ethos and the practice of Joy as an act of resistance. We actually started writing the second album before we recorded the first. Like we started because we wanted to create. This the only thing we know how to do as a group. We all had full-time jobs, and after work we'd all meet up um, and write. Uh, and then the more we toured, the more part-time our jobs became. So it was just a juggling act. But um, the necessity of like the period in my life where I had to explore myself and come out a better person meant that the writing was a lot more fluid. Um, it came out quite easily. And I think we, we rebuilt our relationships as artists in that room together whilst building that album. And there's no insincerity in that album whatsoever. Everything we play and everything we talk about is exactly where we were at that point and where we needed to be. So it was a, it was a really beautiful process and I'm glad we made it. Being nominated for the Mercury, it's confusing. I, I think um, it's completely positive, but uh, you apply uh, and it's still a shock. And um, it, I'm still kind of processing the fact that we've been nominated or our album's been nominated. Um, it's something that I've dreamt of since I was a kid, so it's magic. Being acknowledged for something in a group of albums that are often different and uh, that eclectic bundle is a beautiful thing to be a part of because it's not about fashion and it's not about um, sycophants, it's about uh, being acknowledged for something that you've worked hard on and is part of uh, a British narrative, a, a, a current one. It's a beautiful thing to be appreciated in any light, especially for, for me, the pinnacle is the Mercury.